You're watching Tag. India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the field of science and technology, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I am your host Shreya Savijay and today in our episode of My India, We'll take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. It is said that dance and drama are the best ways of portraying stories and emotions. Since ages, traditional Indian dance forms have been recognized and appreciated by the whole world. One such popular dance form is Odyssey, which is the classical dance form of Odisha. In today's show, we'll take you to a dance festival where this beautiful dance form was performed to showcase Odisha's vibrant culture. Have a look. Odyssey enthusiasts from around the world gathered at the Rabindra Mandap Auditorium in Odisha's capital city of Bhubaneswar to be a part of the International Odyssey Festival. Each year, the festival is organized by the government of Odisha with the help of Guru Kelu Charan Mohapatra Odishi Research Center Bhubaneswar, with this year being the 13th edition of the festival. International Odyssey Dance Festival is held every year continuously from 2006. So where all around the globe the artists they apply and uh, they come to participate. This year also uh, 400 uh, dancers are there and musicians. If you calculate it is the, uh, you can say it's a festival, a get together of five, uh, 500 dancers, ODC dancers from all over the world. <laughs> The ongoing festival, which is a five-day event, is a confluence of ODC art and culture aimed at celebrating the love for the ages-old traditional classical dance form. <laughs> Apart from having participants from various states like Gujarat, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, New Delhi and West Bengal, the festival had participants from countries like England, Malaysia and Japan as well. I'm actually dancing tomorrow night at this festival. I'm an ODC dancer, like, kind of more like a beginning dancer and I'm here tonight enjoying the performances. It is so beautiful. It is truly my favorite form of Indian classical dance. It touches my heart like nothing else does as far as devotion. Odissi, also referred as Orissi in traditional Hindu literature, is said to have been originated in the ancient temples of eastern coasts of India. Hence, the theme of this dance form is predominated by religious stories and spiritual ideas. Traditionally, Orissi comes under the dance drama genre of performing arts wherein a mythical story, spiritual poems and other stories from texts are played by musicians. Dancers perform with symbolic costumes accompanied by various gestures or mudras set out in ancient Sanskrit literature. Performed about rain, uh, 
especially uh, in rain there is an uh, the atmosphere is with uh, is filled with romance and love so here we performed the uh, love between the two people that uh, if the, the female is in one country and the male is in another country so uh, the female through a pigeon sends message to her beloved to meet her and uh, she writes down all her feelings in a paper and sends it through the pigeon to the male so that is our theme today it was a very nice experience to perform over here along with indian classical dance forms like kathak and bharatnatyam odc is also gaining popularity around the world mark of india is its diversity people from different religious and cultural backgrounds live here amicably it is this unity that brings people from different communities to share their joy and grief together upholding this tradition of unity in diversity a parsi festival was recently organized in udwara district of gujarat to portray how the community lives harmoniously in india take a look Parsis from various cities of India and the world gathered in Surat district of Gujarat to participate in the Iran Shah Udwara Utsav which was organized in the western city of Udwara with an objective to unite the different religious communities together with Parsi community and foster brotherhood among all many cultural events and exhibitions were organized in the festival to showcase the history and traditions of parsi community residing in india ye function hai iran sha udwada utsav ye hum sab parsiyo ko ikattha karne ke liye de hamare parsi community mein jagrutta lane ke liye ye function ho raha hai lekin ye sirf parsiyo ke liye nahi hai yahan pe hindustan ka कोई भी आदमी आ सकता है कोई भी कम्युनिटी का आदमी आ सकता है वाई ओनली हिंदुस्तान का कहीं विदेश से भी कई लोग आते हैं और ये जानना चाहते हैं कि ये पारसीज जो हैं वो कम्युनिटी क्या है हिंदुस्तान में किस भाईचारे के साथ रह रही है वो सब जानकारी यहाँ पे आके वो इकट्ठा कर सकते हैं और वो भी एक खुश खुशहाल माहौल में marking the third anniversary of the biannual festival a large number of people from parsi community and visitors from different communities in india and abroad attended the festival the three day long festival included dance and singing performances a fashion show and various other sporting events to keep visitors and participants engaged The fashion show organized during the festival portrayed Parsi clothing and their traditional attires that took the viewers on a ride into Parsi culture. हर साल मतलब और बेहतर होते जा रहा है और हर साल कुछ नया नया आ रहा है जैसे इस साल बहुत सारे स्पॉट्स इंक्लूड हुए हैं और शोज भी बड़े हो रहे हैं तो हर साल और ही बेहतर हो रहा है देर आर अराउंड फिफ्टी एट थाउजेंड पारसीज इन अराउंड वन पॉइंट थ्री बिलियन पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया द पारसीज हैिंग एमिकेबली विद अदर रिलीजियस कम्युनिटीज एडिंग टू द नेशन क्लोरी एंड स्टेचर From the time immemorial India has been providing equal ground to different religious communities to develop and prosper in a rich and harmonious environment Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently India's famed golden temple shown bright with lights and fireworks fill the sky on the occasion of birth anniversary of a revered spiritual leader guru gobind singh bahut vadhiya ji bahut adhyatmik anand da anubhav hoya bahut hi maza aaya 
Guru Gobind Singh is the 10th Sikh Guru, a warrior, poet, philosopher and son of the revered 9th Sikh Guru, Teg Bahadur, who founded the Sikh warrior community Khalsa in the late 17th century. After offering prayers at Golden Temple, Sikhs washed in awe as fireworks lit up the night sky above the holiest place of Sikhism. A 12-day long river fair, Dwijing Festival, is grabbing eyeballs in India's northeastern state of Assam with hundreds of tourists thronging the banks of River Ai to take part in the New Year festivities. यहाँ पे हर कोई मोस्ट मस्त मोज मस्ती एडवेंचर स्पोर्ट्स कल्चर म्यूजिक सब मिलेंगे आप लोग को The festival has a number of activities including adventure sports, helicopter rides, elephant rides and gives tourists first-hand experience of Assam's ethnic culture and cuisine. The cultural extravaganza is being held annually since 2016 and provides employment opportunities to the local population while also promoting river tourism in the state. India is looking forward to sending its third mission to moon after ambitious Chandrayaan-1 and 2 said chief of country's apex space agency K Sivan Chandrayaan-3 is government has approved and uh, it is that uh, the project is now formed the activity is going on Chandrayaan-3 very smoothly and uh, Chandrayaan-3 configuration will be almost similar to Chandrayaan 2 The configuration of Chandrayaan 3 will be similar to its predecessor with a propulsion module a lander and a rover minus the orbiter which is already in place with Chandrayaan 2 Sivan added that it will take about 14 to 16 months for Chandrayaan 3 to get ready for launch and will possibly be launched next year moving on japan with its latest technological advancements is certainly revolutionizing the world around along with its technology the country's food culture is also garnering praise across the globe at one side ajinomoto a giant in japanese food market is providing safe and healthy meals to the people of thailand giving them a taste of japanese food on the other hand hot springs in japan's kusatsu town are becoming a popular tourist hot spot attracting visitors from around the world take a look a park in thailand's capital bangkok attracts many people who come to enjoy sports when it gets cooler in the evening thephasadin stadium is popular as a spot for sport and there are a lot of people who love to jog or running here team beyond is an amateur running team before practicing these runners always drink ajinomoto product amino vital that consists of mainly amino acid that helps in better functioning of the body and lets them enjoy the sport ตัวอะมิโนไวทัลเนี่ยตอบโจทย์มากๆไม่ว่าจะเป็นในเรื่องของการให้พลังงานในเรื่องของการรักษาแล้วก็ควบคุมกล้ามเนื้อให้มีประสิทธิภาพในระหว่างที่เราวิ่งอยู่โดยเฉพาะคนที่วิ่งระยะทางไกลๆเนี่ยจะสามารถเ,เรียกว่าการวิ่งเนี่ยมันจะมีประสิทธิภาพมากขึ้นค่ะอาจูนาโมโต้ also sponsor meal for the athletes including the national volleyball team of Thailand during the training amino vital is provided to them ก็อย่างในการแข่งขันโอลิมปิกที่เราจะถึงนี้ในปี2020ข้างหน้านี้นะคะแน่นอนเลยค่ะ
เราต้องใช้อยู่แล้วอะมิโนไวท์ทอลทุกตัวถือว่ามีประโยชน์ที่สูงสุดสำหรับนักกีฬาของเราค่ะ A dish made from vegetables and meat is prepared for the athletes by using seasoning of Ajinomoto. It gives a taste of homemade food. Oh, <laughs> Ajinomoto project Kachimeshi means winning meal. Kachimeshi is a nutrition program to improve the nutritional needs of athletes. Ajinomoto staff prepares a meal menu with the team's nutrition management staff and coach. Amino Vital is popular among professional and amateur athletes. จริงๆ Amino Vital เราตั้งใจที่จะพัฒนาศักยภาพของนักกีฬาไม่ใช่เฉพาะในประเทศไทยค่ะแต่ว่าในเอเชียทั้งหมดด้วยก็คาดหวังว่า Amino Vital จะช่วยให้นักกีฬาในส่วนเอเชียมี performance ที่ดีขึ้นค่ะแล้วก็กระจายขายทั่วไปเป็นที่นิยมในโซนเอเชียทั้งหมดค่ะ Ajinomoto enhances taste and contributes to sport development in Asia. Moving on. Hot springs in Japan's Katsatsu town attract visitors. Japan is a hot spring haven with over 3,000 hot springs existing all over the country. The Japanese name for this gift of nature is onsen, and here Katsatsu Onsen in Gunma Prefecture is one of Japan's most famous hot spring resorts. It is blessed with large volumes of hot springs. Which helps cure several illnesses. あの草津の観光名所、草津のシンボルここ湯畑なんですけども、あのこの湯畑の意味するところはですね、あの湯の問いが七本あるんですけども、草津の温泉の源泉の温度ってとっても高いんですね。多分ここで五十一度ぐらいございまして、五十一度の温泉にそのまま入るとやけどしてしまいますので、この木のトイを長通ることによって、あの温度が下が下げるっていうのが一つの目的。カツサツ温泉 is known in Japan as a hot spring resort for many centuries. It became famous worldwide by Erwin von Belz, a German doctor who served at the Japanese imperial court of Emperor Meiji in the late 1800s. He recommended カツサツ for its water's health benefits. まあ、あの休みなんかの時はあはベルツ博士はですねいろいろ日本中を旅することが好きなもんでしたからその中で草津温泉に訪れた時にあこの草津温泉っていうのは素晴らしい場所だな、まあ、本当にベルツ博士が惚れ込んでいただきましてあの世界中に広めてくださったっていうのが、まあ、草津温泉が観光地になる一つの要因でした。Another tourist attraction in Katsatsu Onsen is the traditional yumomi performance, where ladies sing about the benefits of Katsatsu Onsen while mixing water using boats or food. Cold air, the hot air, in the water, 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 in the water. これが湯もみなんですけれどお水を入れてしまうと温泉の効能があの薄れてしまってせっかくね草津温泉のいい効能がもったいないのでこの板を使ってお湯を揉んで空気に触れさせて温度を冷ましていく方法が湯もみです。カツサツ is located at an altitude of 1200 meters above sea level in the mountains, so it can offer skiing in winter and hiking during the rest of the year. To be enjoyed in combination with refreshing hot spring bathing. Moving on, Sufism has entrenched itself at the centre of cultural and spiritual life in India. The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir serves as the richest reservoir of this tradition, and this can be well witnessed during the orgs of Sufi saints in the region, when people cutting across religious lines gather under a roof. So. Giving a glimpse of this unique devotional culture, today we take you to the 41st Urs commemoration of Mia Mahmud Saab, that was recently commemorated in the Rajouri district of Jammu and Kashmir. Take a look. 
द श्राइन ऑफ सूफी सेंट मियान महमूद साहब लोकेटेड इन दियन विलेज ऑफ रजौरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज इन अबोर्ड ऑफ पीस एंड ट्रैंक्विलिटी पीपल कटिंग अक्रॉस ऑल रिलीजियस लाइन गैदर्ड एट द श्राइन to attend the 41st urs of the holy saint they offered special prayers at the shrine and wished for peace and prosperity to prevail across the nation ye to ek sangam hai bhai chare ka pyar ka aur mohabbat ka aur khankaon mein yahi dua ki jati hai allah taala hamare mulk mein हमारे जम्मू कश्मीर में अमन दे और आपसी भाईचारा जो है ये कायम रहे और बुजुर्गान दीन के यहाँ पर कोई यहाँ पर मज़हब नहीं देखा जाता कोई नस्ल नहीं देखी जाती जहाँ जैसी अकीदत जो लेकर आता है वैसा ही वो दामन को भर देते हैं एज अ पार्ट ऑफ सेलिब्रेशन सूफी स्कॉलर्स एंड इमाम्स सोमन दब्लिक ऑन दी लाइफ रिलीजियस सर्विस टीचिंग एंड स्परिचुअल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ देंट हु डिवोटेड हिमसेल्फ इन सर्विस ऑफ द पब्लिक गुड forming an integral part of the public at holes for the last several centuries even today the sufi traditions play an important role in the lives of the people and connote them with an understanding of the world in all its spiritual dimensions aise aur show hone chahiye jahan pe tamam community ke log jo participate karte hain deen ke bare mein baatein hoti hain deen deen hame yahi sikhata hai ki aap isme jo hai pyar se rehna chahiye तो ऐसे उर्स का बड़ा फ़ायदा होता है काफ़ी चीज़ें जो है दीन दीन की जो है दीन सीखने की मिलती है यहाँ से तो मैं यही कहूँगा कि ऐसे उर्स में जो है लोगों को ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा पार्टिसिपेट करना चाहिए द उर्स कमेमोरेशन ऑफ द सूफी सेंट एंड द नंबर ऑफ डेविटीज कमिंग टू द श्राइन क्लियरली इंडिकेट्स दैट द लेसन ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी एंड कम्पैशन टूवर्ड्स ऑल रिलीजियस कम्यूनिटीज is still having its roots deeply embedded in the culture and traditions of india india has a long and glorious tradition of painting many of its artists including mf hussain and amrita shergill are known around the world for their creativity and out of the box approach one of them is raja ravi varma considered a pioneer of modern indian painting who was among the most celebrated artist of the 19th century recently a painting exhibition was held at vadodara where a follower of raja exhibited his artworks raja ravi verma occupies a special place in the history of indian art he is famous for giving faces to hindu gods and goddesses through his paintings Ravi Darshan Vyas based in Gujarat's Gondal district has been following Raja Ravi Verma's painting style since the last 5 years. A painting exhibition which draws inspiration from Raja Ravi Verma's paintings and artworks was organized in Vadodara where Vyas's art was on display. 2003 mein inspiration hua कि मैं सीरियसली उनकी जो शैली है उसको फॉलो करूं तो राजा रवि वर्मा की शैली और मेरे ट्रैवल के दौरान जो भी लोकेशंस मुझे पसंद आए श्रीलंका है थाईलैंड है या तो ललित लक्ष्मी विलास पैलेस ही ले लीजिए तो उसको मैंने क्लब करके ये एक अनोखी सीरीज बनाई है जिसमें माइथोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टर्स भी है लोकेशन्स भी इतने खूबसूरत है काठियावाड़ के सीन्स भी इतने खूबसूरत मैंने लिए हैं फैमिली वोड्रोब में से मैंने काफ़ी चीज़ जो मुझे पसंद है उसको इंक्लूड किया है फॉलोइंग वर्मा स्टाइल ऑफ पेंटिंग माइथोलॉजिकल कैरेक्टर्स व्यास हैज पेंटेड कैरेक्टर्स लाइक उर्मिला सुभद्रा एंड मीरा आउट ऑफ ऑल हिज पेंटिंग्स painting of bhubneshwari devi is his most recognizable artwork 
मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा यहाँ आकर बीइंग बरोडियन आर्ट तो हमारे जीवन में वैसे भी है ही बिकॉज हम बरोडियन हैं कहा जाता है कला नगरी और कला नगरी की शान में ये जो शाम है वो भी बहुत सुंदर है और जैसे मैंने सुना है कि ये जो पेंटर है डॉक्टर रवि दर्शन व्यास वो राजा रवि वर्मा से काफ़ी इंस्पायर्ड हैं तो वो सारी झलकियाँ जो हैं वो हर पेंटिंग में हमें दिख रही हैं और मुझे जो सबसे ज़्यादा अच्छा लगा वो है कि ये सारी पेंटिंग सिर्फ देखने में नहीं लेकिन पढ़ने में भी उसका इतना मज़ा है हर पेंटिंग के पीछे जो एक डिस्क्रिप्शन है वो बहुत ही महत्व रखता है exhibition is not just a display of vyas's paintings and artworks but also a tribute to one of the best artists of india that's all we have for you this week your comments and suggestions are important to us do give us your feedback at mindia@nin.com i'm your host shreya savijay and it's goodbye from the entire production team You're watching Tay